Hey guys, it's me, Griffin's Nightmare, and today I want to talk about the very contro I wouldn't say controversial, but I would say mixed reviewed song Kitsch. I think to fully appreciate the song, I think we need to go and do a little research note on what Kitsch is. Are objects or design considered to be poor taste because of the excessive garnishes or sentimentality, but sometimes appreciated to being known as an ironic way, kind of like a wink wink nudge nudge type of situation. Which explains the whole schoolgirl vibe, them wearing the varsity jackets, the little skirts, them having the very um, not helpful to the song lyrics in the terms of corniness but also having that deep dark little emo grunge type of expression going throughout the whole entire music video and I would like to personally say just my personal opinion alone I kind of dig it I, I kind of digged it that that chorus was getting me now, I don't I mean I like the, some of the raps because they kind of, they felt corny, but at the same time, I kind of got it. Like, oh, this is what I'm supposed to expect. And as I kept on listening to the music, the more I was used to, like, I knew that the beat was going to drop and this is going to go to this lower tone, the more comfortable I got with it. And I don't think necessarily, um, with the trajectory they were going, it was all elegant concepts we started with i with this very middle eastern sound beat then we went to more of this grease kind of take but still schoolgirl type of take on on love with love dive and then we have what's after like this disco yet very elegant sound piece going through so when we came to this specific song it's now this very corny <laughs> schoolgirl vibe and i'm not saying when i say corny i'm not necessarily saying oh it's corny it's terrible no it's a good type of corny it's like that wink wink nudge nudge like you you've seen the girls do this already before and so they're putting that wink wink nudge with you like we understand that this is supposed to be corny and they understand that this is supposed to be corny so it's not necessarily saying you know it's bad. It's just, you know, we all are in on the joke, I guess you could say. I think I've being such a success and having this very fast paced spread of hype and enjoyers. I think they have very big expectations and I think they continue people have the expectation of them continuing on with their elegant concept and so I think when it came to people's expectations people it kind of fell short for them because that's what they were expecting hell I forgot that they were going to do a comeback this year this is why you know it's kind of like a day late well yeah a kind of a day late but for the most part, people were expecting this to be more of a, you know, high, elegant, lavish, I, you know, concept slash performance, and that's not what they got. They got what I've technically wanted. A very, you know, wink, wink, nudge, nudge against the team concept and the whole you know, girl crush, teen concept, where, you know, it's more grungy, more like, you know, I'm that girl, that tough alley, and then there's the other half that is more of the sweet, nice persona. It's almost like they tried to do a song, like, similar to, like, Stacey's Stereotype, but also add that other half of the teen concept in order to be incorporative of the whole, you know, selection. I think a lot of people claim to like experimental sounds in music, especially with K-pop, until it actually happens to their favorite group. I don't understand why there's so many people have this very tough, rigorous, I guess you're going to say, 
judgment on groups that do, you know, maybe branch out with the usual other than the usual concept, especially when it comes to these new groups, especially especially the girl groups, because you guys claim that the boy groups don't do as much, but when the girls are, you know, experimenting, doing different things, you know, having some unique concepts, because this is very unique, although it does play on to a very traditional done-before concept, they put their own twist to it. Now they're also a part of the joke. They also understand the joke. This The whole thing's supposed to be ironic, but for some reason people are acting like it's the end of the world because the girls, you know, might not necessarily have the usual criteria that goes into their usual music. Now, I don't even think they have enough music to particularly say they have a specific sound. So... I'm a little on the fence when people go and be like, oh, well, I don't like this. And they fell off and here and there because there's people out there that are currently saying that. Like, oh, they fell off because they did one song that was different. And it was not even that much of a bad song. It's just that I think the drop is so jarring and dark and grungy that when, that's, when the beginning of the song has this light peachy vibe, first listen it's going to be harsh and as you go along and listen to the song and process it more you'll expect it i think song wise i'll give it i'll give it from like first reading i would have given it a seven but as i've learned slowly but surely got through the whole song and just sonically, I'll give it an 8. I don't necessarily think it's a bad song. I think that with streaming and continuously, um, you know, vibing with the song, I'd give it an 8. It's not necessarily everybody's cup of tea. I think it's more of a niche group's cup of tea. I, but I, um, I has multiple songs that fit more of the general public. But for me, it's an 8. Lyrics-wise... That's where we fall short on because still I <laughs> still don't like those lyrics. But I can vibe with them. I can vibe. I can go with the concept. If you go in for it, you're gonna go through it with the whole thing. And those lyrics though, <laughs> I'm gonna give them. A, I'm gonna give them a six because those rap parts to LOL with Ray. <laughs> yeah, I was God. I was God. As soon as I heard LOL, I was like, yeah, yeah. They went for it. <laughs> they went for it. I'm proud, but <laughs> everything after they raised went up, LOL, could have been thrown away from me. But I did like certain parts that were corny. That were corny. Like, you know, don't judge me. Like, <laughs> I was there for it. I actually, every time she does it, I do it too. I, I do the poke. I do it like, you know. <laughs> Visuals, um, all god tier it's a 10 for the visuals because as soon as the song starts picking up and boosting up you know the girls eat it up i think choreography that we've seen on the music video for the most part it looks good it looks fine i really want to know how far death they're gonna go with this um concept i hope they go all the way to be honest because i think that would make people angry and also make me happy at the same time because they're doing something wacky quirky unique you know something some something that embraces me <laughs> my final thoughts are that it's going to be a song that has to grow on people i don't necessarily think first listen people are going to like the song just because i'm barring the chorus is especially with the build-up because build-up doesn't necessarily lead to that specific drop but I think people are going to like it. People are going to be like, they're going to like the song of the year, top tier, you know, what would not like when they did with O and Die for Inmix. Leave your thoughts down below. Leave a comment. Talk about how if you don't like it, you how you do like it. This is a free, you know, platform. I, I listen to everyone. I read all comments. So whatever you do, you know, it is what it is. I don't necessarily judge anyone if they don't like the song. It is what it is. Um, like, subscribe, and most importantly, I'll be seeing you in nightmares. Bye!